Interestingly, I've been working with a team uh, in Boston on making an NAD precursor, a drug. And so for the last two years, with the help of a great team at Brigham and Women's Hospital, they've been testing the safety and efficacy of uh, an NAD precursor called MIB626, uh, which is a proprietary version of an NAD booster, is that so far the molecule is extremely safe in the people that have been tested. It's able to greatly raise NAD levels. We've worked on activators of sirtuins for a long time. Resveratrol was the one back 20 years ago. Uh, we've developed some synthetic ones and some NAD precursors. Uh, MIB626 is, as I mentioned, an oral formulation of a polymorph of MIB626 that's stabilized crystalline, and it's gone through a lot of safety studies over the last few years, headed by this lab, uh, Shally Basin's group uh, at Brigham and Women's Hospital, and uh, David Livingston runs the group at Metro Biotech, which is a Massachusetts-based company that's been making NAD precursors, both synthetic and natural for the last decade, uh, and, that, and full disclosure, this was spun out of my lab and others, including Shin and I and Raj Apter. Uh, how do you measure uh, what the effect might be? Well, one of the ways that Shelley's lab did it was to look at endurance and strength uh, within an MRI, uh, and so this is uh, an example of the machine that they built to insert the patients into the machine and measure their endurance, strength, and things like uh, ATP, NAD, oxygenation. Um, and some of the data that hasn't public, been published yet, but we're starting to talk about it, and this is their group's data, not mine, uh, is that uh, a number of things happen when you take uh, 1,000 milligrams for a, roughly a month of this uh, substance uh, orally. Uh, and you can see here an example of some of the data, uh, the repetitions to failure of that leg exercise uh, significantly greater after taking MIB-626. This is similar or at least reminiscent to the mouse data that we published in 2018 on endurance in mice uh, due to increased vascularization uh, via action on endothelial cells. Um, another nice uh, bit of data, I would admit it's, it was a surprise, a nice surprise is that Shelley's group showed that um, lipids and cholesterol uh, went in the right direction for improved health. Uh, as you can see here, uh, HDL was not affected, which was also reassuring. Mm -hmm.